Here at Davis Auto Sports, we are very excited to offer you this absolutely gorgeous 1996 Jeep Cherokee XJ two-door. This is a one owner, Carfax certified, guarantee buyback vehicle with a flawless history, clean and clear title in hand and house ready to sign over. Absolutely gorgeous moss green pearl paint, which up close in person is a gorgeous, gorgeous paint color. This two-door XJ has our very popular stage two package, our service package, our reconditioning package, uh, very, very well-equipped Jeep, ready to go. If you're unfamiliar with us here at Davis Auto Sports, please pause this video, go to our website, davisautosports.com, just to get familiar with who we are and what we do. Um, we're inside of our 30,000 square foot facility. Uh, every vehicle in here, uh, whether it's an off-road vehicle, every modification on all these vehicles we did here in-house. Uh, 800 horsepower ZR1 right there, 800 horsepower Z06, uh, the list goes on and on. Our main line of work are XJs uh, and restorations. As you see on every lift that we have, we have an XJ uh, getting built. That's uh, We do full interior, engine work, the whole nine. I say that because as much work as we do on these XJs, we've never, and we probably have about 100 plus videos on YouTube of our XJs, have ever built one with 200,000 miles. This vehicle just cracked 200 even. We went through this vehicle thoroughly before building it to make sure it was a good candidate to build. With it being a one owner, it was owned by the right owner that absolutely babied this thing. Uh, we compression checked the engine, went through the diffs, transmission, the whole nine. Uh, we would have never put all this time and effort into a vehicle that wasn't a good candidate. Now, with that said, I have no problem giving you a peace of mind warranty on this vehicle. Everything that we do to the vehicle has a one year labor and parts warranty through us. Uh, but if you have any doubts on this vehicle having 200,000 miles, I have no problem giving you a 30 day warranty. The engine is absolutely perfect right now. We went through and serviced it, did a bunch of work, but I'll also give you an option as well. Putting Porsche seats in a C3, which is unusual. So here we have right here, uh, an engine that we just put together. Uh, fully built engine, uh, pistons, rings, bearings, uh, brand spanking new uh, performance cylinder head, uh, all your uh, valve train, everything is brand new on this en uh, engine <clears throat> with the exception of pretty much uh, the block itself. Uh, all this stuff we actually store here in house, this is all stuff uh, for our XJs, uh, filters, rear main seals, valve cover gasket, brakes, the whole nine, but uh just to kind of give you guys an idea this right here all of our xj parts from lifts shocks uh powertrain stuff the whole nine but uh these are our heads uh that we use uh these are brand new heads not remanufactured heads and those will give you about 25 more horsepower with just the head itself and then if you add you know any intake anything like that so that truck right there, I'm guaranteeing, if you guys want us to uh, do a motor like this and put it in that uh, with everything, with a new cam, the whole nine, you're going to be right around $2,800. Uh, it's going to give you the full package, which you can't beat that, but you don't need to. Uh, but if you want a Jeep that has been gone through thoroughly, interior, exterior, uh, suspension, wheels, tires, everything, if we were to put that engine in here, you would essentially have a new Jeep. Um, and I'll go over all the stuff that we did here in a moment, but really this Jeep performs absolutely incredible. The engine is solid. Uh, we went through with great compression, the whole nine. So just throwing that out there as an option. This moss green pearl paint is just beautiful. I do want to add too, this vehicle has all original paint. So that is this, as nice as this thing is, it's incredible that this is all original paint. Of course, we have our full Kevlar package on it as well. 
but for right now I'm just going to do a walk over just so you guys can see the vehicle and then I'll go over into details everything that we did. I think probably the highest mileage Cherokee uh, that we've built that we've put up on the market for sale uh, is, is this one but previously maybe a hundred and 40,000 miles most of the Cherokees that we build uh, are back of a hundred uh, 50 60 70 80 we'll we'll do some here and there with over a hundred but this thing was just so incredibly clean uh, so well taken care of that we just thought it would be a perfect Jeep to do a little stage 2 package on <clears throat> but we also replaced a ton of parts on it as well which I'll go over here in a moment just doing a quick walk around so you can get the general feel of the vehicle. I mean, we've had Cherokees in here with 40,000 miles that weren't this clean and nice. And how often do you find a 1996 vehicle that's been owned by the same person and obviously took amazing care of it? This is not aftermarket paint. This is the original paint. We did do our full paint correction service, which is, uh, I'll go into detail some of the stuff we did, but this Jeep, uh, we were, had it in the shop probably for about four to five weeks, getting it the way it is course not working on it every day with a full crew but a lot of time has been spent on this Jeep <clears throat> so um, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the body of it first uh, the vehicle Everything that's painted on the vehicle, all the factory paint on here, has had our full paint correction service. Uh, we explain that on our website under our reconditioning page. If you don't know what that is or you don't want to go to our website, every piece of paint along this vehicle that is painted from the pillars, the doors, the hood, um, up top, the gutter rails, everything has been completely wet sanded down. So the entire vehicle gets wet sanded with a 1500 grit sandpaper. Uh, after that, it gets wet sanded with a 2500 grit sandpaper, then a 3000 grit sandpaper. From there, uh, every panel gets compounded with a wool pad and 3M compound. From there, it gets uh, buffed with a foam pad with a polish. Uh, from there, an ultra fine polish with a softer pad and then a paint seal. Um, so when you're doing the door, you're using the big buffer. When you're doing small areas like this, you're using the tiny buffer. So it's a lot of work. All your trim pieces get taped off so they don't get compound. You won't see any wax residue on this vehicle. And we take this much, uh, you know, put this much work into a Cherokee like this because it's so nice and it's something that we can make beautiful. And that's the same sort of work that we do on an eighty, ninety thousand dollar car. So that should kind of speak of, uh, you know, how nice this Jeep is and the amount of work we dedicated to make it even nicer. So, the vehicle's been fully paint corrected, and that's one of the reasons uh, that the paint looks so good. But we also started with beautiful paint. Uh, no deep scratches anywhere. No swirl marks in the paint. Gorgeous paint. Secondly, so that was probably about a three day process within itself. Uh, that's working on it eight hours a day, three days straight. Full Kevlar package. Now this thing has a lot of Kevlar on it and it takes a long time to do. First I'll show you what's done and then I'll go through the process. Entire front bumper, grill, light bezels, front header panel. And what we did for the first time, which is really cool, is we followed the line down to the header panel instead of doing the full header panel because that way kind of breaks it up a little bit. Obviously we did the raised portions of the hood. We did the fender flares, the rockers, moving on back to the rear fender flares and rear bumper. This stuff is not gonna come off. Uh, that is true Kevlar. 
and I'll go through sort of our process just so you can appreciate the amount of work and effort that goes into this. Um, whether it's uh, metal or plastic, it's all pretty much the same. We use a couple different uh, things, but overall what happens is, uh, for example, the plastic gets completely sanded. Uh, we start with an 80 grit to pretty much take a whole layer of the plastic off because the plastic over the years has contaminants in it, uh, just road grime, debris, whatever the case is. Same thing with the metal. So we'll get sanded down. Uh, then we work our way up with the sandpaper ending with a 360 to give it a nice smooth finish. Uh, from there, all the plastic gets sprayed with a plastic promoter called Bulldog. Uh, that stuff's very expensive. Um, from there, after that's done, we then spray it with a 2K primer. A 2K primer is a two-part primer system that you mix. It's the same stuff that high-end body shops use. It helps anything adhere to it. So the whole thing gets primed off. From there, we scuff the primer to create uh, a better texture, and then we spray the two-part Kevlar. This is a two-part system. The end result, and it's as hard as can be, uh, you can put a pressure washer on this stuff. You can scratch it with sticks. It's not going to mess up. Uh, we've seen our Cherokees come back three years later with the stuff on it uh, to get other services done, and it looks phenomenal. Um, some people, it's up to you. That's the natural sheen. Uh, some people will put you know, a shine on it if you want. You can do whatever you want. But uh, So as you see, a lot of work's been done uh, just in the, in the paint and body department of this. I mean sanding down the bezels all in the cracks. I mean, it's a lot of work. You're probably three or four days into that by itself. Um, wheels and tires. Very classy BFG uh, mud terrain tire with a uh, 17 by eight inch wheel. This is obviously a Rubicon replica wheel. Fits perfect with the body. Nice traditional classic look. Nice BFG mud terrain. We don't ever skimp on tires. We're either using BFGs, Nittos, uh, you know, no, no cheap tires here. So beautiful setup there. If you want to spare up top, we can be, uh, we can accommodate that. But we wanted to keep the price somewhat <laughs> down to some degree. We didn't want to go overboard. Uh, very nice, clean IPF lights mounted up front. Uh, all the lights have been uh, soldered. All the connections are soldered. Have its uh, own relay system. Uh, the whole nine three inch full suspension lift go ahead and give you a quick little peek let's start down here actually have a Rubicon Express upgraded tie rod bar upgraded tie rod ends on the, e on the end of each uh, tie rod bar have an extreme duty Rubicon Express uh, fully adjustable track bar. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. We have a brand new sway bar, brand new sway bar drop down brackets, all new sway bar bushings and hardware. We have brand new sway bar end links with bushings. We have Rubicon Express uh, front bump stops, of course, your coils and your shocks as well. Diffs have been fully serviced. You have your lower control arms as well. There's a good shot of the oil pan gasket, which I'll get into some of the servicing a little bit later. The back is really simple on these. Uh, you have brand new shocks, uh, out of leafs with brackets, hardware, uh, shackles, the whole nine. Have a factory uh, tow hitch, very nice setup on this uh, XJ. The exhaust system uh, was recently replaced. We did not do it, but it's a newer exhaust system. But when they did it, they used the uh, original clamp. So we put all new exhaust clamps on. So pretty much all your steering bars up front, uh, your sway bars, tie rod, track bar, uh, end links, everything up front is new on this thing besides the drag link bar and it was in great condition. So pretty much the entire front end suspension and steering is uh, brand new on this. <clears throat> Have a nice low profile uh, safari rack with the windscreen up front. So 
service wise um like i mentioned earlier we did the oil pan gasket we did the rear main seal and the valve cover gasket so if you're familiar with these jeeps um you know how important that service is uh if you're if you're not you're more than welcome to call a Jeep dealership and ask them how much it would cost to get the rear main seal, valve cover, and oil pan gasket. I've gotten quotes from different dealers, not that we need the work done, just to see what different dealers uh, charge for it. And the cheapest was 800 for all three, and I've actually got up to 1200 bucks. So uh, very, very important service. Now, there are some other things that we did uh, to this Jeep that I'll have in the listing. Uh, different brake things and stuff like that, but those are the major uh, servicing and parts that we added to it. Uh, another reason that I decided to uh, build this vehicle um, was the interior was just so nice, so clean, an absolute 100% uh, non-smoker that owned this vehicle. Uh, I don't smoke. I can get in a vehicle and tell right away if it's been smoked in, even if it hasn't been heavily smoked in. Uh, I, I can sense it. I, I start sneezing. I even get headaches in a vehicle that's been smoked in. So uh, extremely clean door panels. I mean, look at this thing for 200K. It is I mean, just insanely clean. The side seats don't have any cracking. I've had Cherokees in with uh, 40,000 miles before that had cracking on the seats. That's just for my camera right there. That'll go away probably in a couple minutes. But seats are just... I mean, insanely clean. Another thing that we offer too is uh, leather seat conversions. Uh, and we can add heated seats, stuff like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, we can do that as well. Uh, we did install a new headliner, which all this stuff, once again, is done here in house. Brand new headliner. Now there are a couple areas, uh, like that little indentation right there, that's not a defect in the fabric that we put on. The headliner itself uh, had little indentations in it. And being that this is glued on and we flatten it, you're going to see any imperfection in the actual hardboard. So, of course, those lines are natural uh, curve lines on the headliner. I mean, look at this back leather part of the seat. Super, super clean. Full spare. Brand new. With the cover have your license plate bracket we have a uh, grade 8 hardware on there in case you guys wanted to uh, install that the back panel super clean usually these grills have cracks in them I mean if you were to see this and not know the year you would think it was a maybe 40 50 thousand mile Jeep zero cracks usually uh, this generation XJ uh, these dashes get all cracked up there is no cracking on here whatsoever, which is amazing. Light still works in there, super clean. Still have all your books, they're inside. We don't do this, you can look at our 500 videos on YouTube of our Jeeps. We don't put bags, uh, the books in the bags, that's just what the previous owner did. So this kind of goes to show how clean he was. Of course, four wheel drive, uh, AC and heat works absolutely phenomenal. It's never been smoked in, and this is the original old school cigarette lighter. So we'll go ahead and open up the door and take this thing on a test drive. Another cool thing too, uh, a lot of the two-door Cherokees, the doors are so heavy because they're so much longer uh, than the four doors. What happens a lot of times is when you shut them, that thing shuts so easy, no pressure at all. A lot of the times, uh, they start to sag. So when you shut them, it doesn't catch the hinge right, and it always makes a loud noise, and you gotta lift the door up and jam it really hard. But if you look at the pins and all the hinges, uh, they've been replaced, not by us, they're older replacement pieces, but that's just something that the previous owner uh, took care of over the years, which is really nice to see. Um, usually on every two door we get, we have to do a lot of work to the doors to get them to shut properly and the alignment on the doors uh, is usually off and it's perfect on this and that's something we didn't have to do. It's just something the previous owner uh, did on his own.
I am running a little bit low on battery, so we're gonna hurry up and take this thing on a quick test drive. And uh, if the battery ends up dying, I'm gonna have to cut the test drive a little bit short. Few of our XJs that we're building, a couple for us that are already sold, and ones of customers from New York. Same thing with this door; shuts super, super smooth. You don't have to, you don't feel it hitting the the pin or anything. to give you an idea here's some jeeps we got a bunch inside and a bunch in the back but a lot of these jeeps are uh, some of our jeeps that we're building uh, customers jeeps from New Jersey uh, just all over the country I drove this Jeep uh, after we lifted it the other day uh, drove it to lunch today drives absolutely perfect just pulled out from the front of our building uh, we're pulling towards the back of our building uh, that right there on the other side of the fence is the runway to Richmond International Airport so that's how close we are to the runway that is literally I'm surprised we don't see a there's a plane over there in the distance we're ready to take off so if you want to fly in to pick this XJ up we'll be more than happy to pick you up from the airport uh, we also ship out about 25 to 35 cars a month all over the country uh, so we'll be more than happy to assist you in shipping as well. I really have to reiterate on this thing. Uh, we would never in a million years build uh, an XJ and put this much of our own time and money into something that wasn't worth it. And uh, from transmission to engine, uh, this thing has just been so well taken care of. And like I said, I have no problem. We don't even do this with our 40 or 50,000 mile Cherokee. We don't include a 30 day warranty on the powertrain. Uh, but I have no problem doing that just to give you a peace of mind that you're buying something that is uh, solid as can be and like I mentioned earlier if you want pretty much almost a, a new Jeep you know, We'll be more than happy to put one of our built engines in it as well uh, With our built engines we do a five-year warranty on the head uh, and a, and a two-year warranty on the rest of the engine We'll go ahead and do a hard acceleration real quick brakes as well. Like I 
said, I mean, that's a 200,000 mile motor that I just nailed that just took off. Engine sounds as smooth as can be. No delay in shifts, no hard shifts. do too is uh once these things you know obviously with all new suspension on this uh what we'll do is we haven't done it yet we usually like to put about 40 or 50 miles on them first is drive them around town uh put them back up on the lift and uh go ahead and retorque all the bolts and all that good stuff which we'll do on this so it's a good good idea to do anytime you lift a vehicle and you have all new parts is break everything in and um obviously retorque everything so there you guys go. If you guys have any questions, 202-491-9929. Thank you.